I don't have a clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Uh, Mr. Marshall! Time. Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> That'd be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. <laughs> 
Get out from there. You know, part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do! Let's go. Right, let's go get Miss McFarland back. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman D. Williamson, right-hand man. In other words, a glorified error boy. You wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill Stan, it's a slip. We already filled you with lead once. But the that's best. the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Double week, alone in the godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Humbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody ended up left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, bandits. Scum like Deke here. Popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. It saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I could ever repay. I just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped like you help me, but you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business either. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference. As far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyways, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal, and I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quick as you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. You think you're a man, do you? Oh, slow down, please! Across the bridge! Not far to go now! be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. 
I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. I bet. Besides, Norm here is gonna be my shield, eh? Marston, lead Deke into town. Make sure you keep a gun on that son of a bitch. Stay calm and start walking. I'm walking, goddammit! I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. They surely know where I am. John, you lead Deke into town and make the exchange. I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so good. Why don't you si Come on, let's get going. Get these ropes off of me, boys. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. You shoot like women! Quick, find money! this no more, friend.
And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you <laughs> good day, sir. <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. Uh, Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. To Ridgewood Farm, the sick and needy await us. Oh, the life of a wandering saver of souls. I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwinking the weak, gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold. For heeding such ill-informed scuttle. You're as full of wind as a horse with a collar. I have been blessed with the gift of language. And for that, I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. Those men trying to kill you didn't look so happy. Skepticism is the bastard child of progress, John. Knowledge makes a fool into a doubting Thomas. It's the cross I bear as a pioneer in the fields of commerce and medical research. You seem to be mistaking me for an idiot. My tonic cures all known ailments, that I can guarantee you. But for the sake of argument, even if it didn't, surely there is still value in giving a person the belief they can feel better. Is that not, after all, the cornerstone of religion? Faith has its own beauty. So you're God now? No, far from it. We live in progressive times, John. The spirit of free enterprise must be embraced. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine battle in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. A more convincing old fellow there has never been. And so shall you, a fair Tiago or Cassio. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John. The flourish. The bow. We are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret this. I'll drop this. you off at the outskirts of Ridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be formed. Eventually, I will call you up to try my tonic. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the paying public. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a shame. No, no, just a little innocent ballyhoo to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. Do you think that buxom young girl you see on the Boyatch camera posters knows the first thing about photography? Advertising, my boy, is the future. You'd best be a man of your word. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. still adjusting to his powerful new eyes. Try again, friend. The tonic may still... I can shoot better than that with my eyes closed.
Shoot the skull, stranger. Prove these doubters wrong. Remarkable! The eyesight of an eagle. Granted by imbibing Dr. W Here it comes! You're more crooked than a snake and a cactus! Do not write them off yet. Steady yourself, stranger. Go home! Do not write them off yet. Right, then. Here comes the throne. I thought we was here to see the earth. Get ready. He's about to throw it. Get your weapon at the ready. You ready to get embarrassed again? Ah, what I tell you? Do not write him off yet. Get ready to shoot that pass. Go home. Ah, what I tell you? Do not write him off yet. Here it comes. See?
Horses are over here! How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses! They don't care none! These people have been laid to rest! You don't know nothing! I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fella! I tell them it's alright to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you? You're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they gets warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly seem to be in some kind of nightmare. What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. I was told you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke, all them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money, but now... I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Just darkness. I want to see the sunshine again. I've seen some candidates for Bedlam in my time, but you might just win the prize straight, Jack. and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract them so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. This is one god-awful assignment. I know. This place is better than the side of me. Stay away from them animals! Get away from them horses! Let's go!
job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Who the hell are you? lost his mind a long time ago. <gasps> Who do you think you are, mister? You just wait till I get loose, mister. <clears throat> What's he paying you? I'll give you double. Get out of here! You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. Come on, come on! But whatever he told you, it's a lie. Just name your price. You son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, sir! Damn you, sir! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't... Hurry up! I need to go find that map! Here, read this pardon letter. This hair is a fresh start. Come on, Don't just do give him that pardon letter so we can get out of here. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. Thank you. 